Before we get started, I wanna give a big thank you to 100 Thieves for this new hoodie. As the newest member of 100 Thieves, I'm very excited to work with them and be their next Valorant content creator. I'm kidding, that's not the case. I bought this with my hard earned money. Nate Shot, hit me up. You know where to find me. Apple chaos. But we're gonna talk about the new Cypher tripwires on Ascent. If you get Ascent, pick Cypher. Trust me when I say this, you have to pick him. He's the best Sentinel for defense on this map, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you're not playing against a raised boom bot, I like to keep my trips down low because they're harder to shoot out because you can't really see them as well. So for starters, I might do something down here like this. It gets a lot of the push onto site. So if they're going this way, trying to get this part of site trying to jump into heaven for example if they're pushing here trying to clear out dice and maybe go into hell and even trying to get to the default plant spot this trip stops all of that and it's great it's low if someone runs up like this and they get hit by it they're not going to necessarily look down at their feet to shoot it even if they do you can swing out from heaven or from hell and kill them with ease you can also put a trip wire up here now and it gets across switch and door if the enemy from a main tries to go to switch to close this door this trip wire will stop them if it enemy from mid went through door and now they're pushing sight this trip will stop them you couldn't hit connect to this before before you had to go down here and use a shorter trip wire but now with this uh new buff this little difference makes all the difference in the world on site itself you can do a trip wire like this and again it's kind of like the first one i showed you it stops a lot of the enemy push whether they're going here whether they're trying to plant here whether they're trying to push past dice like this I find this trip wire to be very helpful, especially against a dashing jet. This trip is pretty helpful. You can also do some stuff off the corner of this block here, so you can get it across here. In case an enemy, I don't know, would go into this corner or push into this corner. It's not very common, but you can catch an enemy off guard with this trip wire. You can also do something like this, where it goes all the way across, same thing, cuts off multiple enemy pushes and gets some pretty easy kills for you. In terms of tree room, nothing has really changed. I normally just do a basic trip like this. I'll do a trip off of these walls here. Nothing too extreme. You can try and get fancy and do something like this, which is new. It's a new look for the enemies, but again, it's nothing crazy. It does stop garden and door, but so does this trip here. Nothing crazy, like I said. In terms of positioning, I'm either sitting under heaven, aka hell, and I'm swinging off trip wires, maybe accompanied by a cage, so I can shoot through the cage and get some kills. Maybe I'll sit dice if I'm not playing against a fade or a sova who can throw a dart and scan my position. I don't have to worry about that. I'll just sit behind dice, shoot through dice like this, nor again with a cage, shoot through it and get some kills. I want to be extra cautious. Perhaps I'm playing against a team with a couple of initiators who can flash in, dart in, and I don't want to be caught lacking on site so even if it's smoked off like this i can just shoot through the smoke get some kills maybe shoot through this wall get some kills but for the most part i'm safe from any returning fire if you're gonna put down a trip to watch the mid to b push before you just put a trip here where the barrier was maybe you put it back here for whatever reason but now what you can do is something back here instead now the only difference with this trip compared to these two trips is before when the trip was back here as an attacker you can shoot the trip and then continue to push or if you got hit by it because you didn't know it was there, you quickly shoot it out and then duck to safety before someone here or market can swing out and kill you. Now you can't really do that with this trip here. If you get hit by it or if you shoot it out, you here or here can swing out and kill them before they turn around and get back to safety. And that little bit of a difference is the difference between you sitting here and wall banging or swinging out and killing this guy here. Or if it was here, them turning the corner, you can't really kill them. You try and force the issue and then you get opt by the guy sitting top mid with his operator. I'm looking at you, chamber mains. You're really annoying. Now let's talk about B-Sight. B-Sight has a lot of new trip wires that you can utilize to your advantage for starters you can put one across the entirety of switch like this i personally really like this tripwire because a jet might dash here might dash here or sometimes they'll just straight up run try and go here or peek stairs see nothing and then go switch because of that this tripwire covers everything and then with my second trip i can put it mid for example i can put it somewhere on site to accompany me and it's very helpful you can also put a tripwire across here you can stop the enemies who are trying to push across like this maybe trying to get into your spawn maybe trying to go up the stairs into market maybe hit the stairs and go to site the only thing i don't like about this tripwire is it doesn't really stop the enemies from going to switch so just be careful of that you can also 
put a tripwire off of logs like this and it gets across the front of B main. Again, if you're not playing against a raised boom bot, this trip is great because it stops this push here towards our spawn or towards market, stops the push towards stairs, it stops the push towards the switch, and it even stops the push towards lane onto site, which is the most common path the enemies will take. You can also just simply put a tripwire across here and it stops all of these pushes towards log, CT, market, stairs, switch. It doesn't stop lane, so you have to put a tripwire there or you can just play lane yourself, but this tripwire gets lots of great coverage as well. If you wanna get creative with sight tripwires, you can do one across this part of lane. So when the enemies are trying to jump onto site at any point on lane, they hit the trip and they get stuck. Now I will say this though, if an enemy is here, and they're running onto the site, if they haven't jumped off yet, if they're playing it cautious, like they're clearing out all these angles, they will see this trip before they hit it, and they'll shoot it out before they make the jump. You will catch the occasional enemy whose plan is to just jump as soon as they turn the corner, and that's when this trip is most effective. So position yourself for this fight here. So maybe something like this, or even somewhere like here. This can get you a pretty free kill. I will show you a specific cage because this tripwire plus this cage is a free kill right there. If they hit that trip and they're suspended in the air or if they're just stuck there in general, they can't really see you no matter where you play on site. And because of the trip, you can see them through the cage. I get some free kills. Let's go against the wall here. Make sure you're on top of these cement blocks. See the line in this last block here? Put the line between your cage and camera on that line so it lines up like this. Throw your cage, it lands on the lamp. You get a nice little semi one way, not the best one way in the world, but paired with a trip, it's pretty unstoppable. Some other sight trip wires you can use is this one here, where if the enemies pushed stairs, for example, if they're trying to get to the default plant spot, or if they wanted to go here, or even to boathouse, they can't do it because this trip will stop them. And then you sitting boathouse can get some free kills here, or here. If you went law, or if you're lane and they went stairs, you can just swing out get some kills here the opportunities are endless you can also do a directional trip here again just to stop the push to default you can do a diagonal trip here it's not the best in the world but if an enemy was running along this wall here for whatever reason clearing out sight this will stop them before they can fully reach the back part of this and likewise if they were to jump like this the trip will stop them here as well you can do a diagonal trip here if the enemies like to push your spawn a lot or if they like to go stairs a lot or if they go from market to switch, this trip stops all three of those lanes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, if you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here, comment down below. Let me know what you think of using a Cypher on Ascent. I think he's a must pick. If you think otherwise, let me know in the comments down below. I gotta get going. I hope you guys enjoyed. All I have to say now is stay safe and remember every day above ground is a good day.